Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome to my series of Logic Pro X tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you how to convert audio to MIDI. Right. Uh, now, I just want to say there are quite a few ways of doing this. I'm going to show you one specific way. Okay, this is the way I personally go about doing it. I have my audio file in front of me, a little loop. Let's just uh, delete all the other stuff, zoom in. A little loop of drums. Now I want to convert this to MIDI so I can play around with it again. And the way I'm going to do that is use some of my keyboard shortcuts. Now I want to cut at the transients. So I'm going to cut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. You probably, you know, you could just snip it on the beat like this. Boom, snip it there. Boom, snip it there. Or we'll just save a bit of time. Scissor tool, and then like that. So what I'm doing there is I'm holding down Alt, and that copies the action across. Uh, or you could just use your own shortcuts. So snip, and then if I could move to a transient. But the thing with this is the transients are quite complex in this, so it might not be a great one to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to snip this guy. And then select this file. I actually think I saved myself some time. Hold down Alt, there we go. Now delete you. Now I'm gonna select all of these guys. These are the bits I want to play around with. Convert, convert to new sampler track. Regions, excess name, awesomeness. Overdrive. There we go. So here we go. I have, if you're not fully aware, I'm playing this on my keyboard. So if I solo this track, you can hear it in order. Now, if, if I just play around with the keyboard. That is my audio to MIDI. So I can go into this, open up the piano roll, and just delete some of this stuff, delete, delete, and it will change. It's kind of funky, I quite like it, especially if you sl absolutely slammed it. Let's give it a go. Um, so you just start messing around with it, uh, and it just, works fantastically. Let's clip this. And let's loop it. Yeah, sorry, before I'm going to start getting a bit excited. Weird. I like it though. Okay, so that's how you do it. Uh, you cut up your audio into small segments that you would like to be able to play in a, in a, as a MIDI uh, file. Uh, and then you right click, right click, convert to new sampler track. So if I just had one file, that would literally convert that one file so I'd be able to just, just to play it. Funky little way to create your own samples, sample library, funky little way to mess around with your original material as well or other people's material, but gets a bit dodgy. Uh, anyway, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel.